Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Data Twins with Cool18 and me. Hey folks. And we're back planning our attack. We completely on transformed <laughs> our uh, our tech process once again. Yeah. <laughs> but this was a good one. This is a good reason here. The idea being, uh, we're going to finish industrialization because it's good anyway, and then pick up metallurgy just to unlock rifling because mm -hmm. your spy will hit in 20 turns. Yep. And then my spy will hit two turns after that, which should enable us to get steam power. And if we get really lucky, we might be able to enter modern era through Oxford if we do get steam power, which might or might not happen. Well, as long as they have the, uh, the text, we should be okay, I think. We don't actually know if they do have steam power. Mm -hmm. I've not seen. Actually, yes, they do. There's an ironclad right next to Sol. Okay, so oh, they have it. Good. Nice. Now we just need to steal it. Watch our spies get killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, at <laughs> some point, they're going to have to put I in some defensive not. spies. Yeah. I mean, I think they are both level 3. Yeah, mine's level 3. Yours right. is level 3, too. Yep. It should yep. be. Mm hmm. And have a but it's possible that they will get killed. AI probably has constabulary by now. Let's see. Does Sol have constabulary? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. That's and it bad. probably has a spy because they are the tech leader. The tech leader AI usually has a spy in their capital, especially at this stage of the game. Oh, it'd be foolish not to. Yeah. So but I think, we'll see. I think we've just gotten really lucky so far. With I mean, I'm hoping spies. at least one of our spies succeeds. Because that's all we really need. If one of our spies succeeds, that should be enough. Yeah, well. The more I still the have my great scientist. I'm just saving him up oh, to maximize his science. I forgot about him, actually. Yeah, okay. Then either way, we should be able to get flight pretty quickly. I can pop him for 1600 right now, which is not that amazing. So yeah, I'd rather wait a, a little bit longer. That's what, two-thirds of industrialization? No, that's half of industrialization, or less than that. Oh, science funding failed. Oh, Every interesting. Everyone voted no except us in Korea. Mm. But the World's Fair passed, so... That's With five out. votes. So even if we voted against the World's Fair, it would pass anyway. Which it usually does. Mm -hmm. So now the big question is, Do we is our progress it? shared or not? We'll find out. I'm going to queue it up in most of my cities, I guess. Yeah, well, as they finish their current production, or... Mm. I don't know, maybe I should replace the current production. Yeah, I'm replacing some of it. Let's see, well, I mean, obviously I'll finish this work boat. Not here, definitely. I mean, we're not really going to try getting the gold reward. But you want silver. That's, yeah, I usually just go for silver. We don't really need gold. And it will probably take a lot of hammers. So I guess what we'll do is, in a turn, we'll see exactly how many uh, how many hammers we have put in. in yeah, that and matches. then decide based on that. All right. I also hope that we have coal, because that's not so obvious. <laughs> I had so many games with no coal; it's actually kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's awful, because then you can't build your factories. Yeah, it's very rage-inducing. <laughs> Fortunately, you don't actually need coal after you build the factories, only to build them. So I have contributed still annoying. 77 hammers. What does it say for you? Mm, 40. So I think it's separate for us. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so we have to both get our own silver rewards. But wow, it's 24% completed already? Interesting. Yeah, so that means, well, maybe five turns of production at 77. Oh, I'll make it. Although, I'm going to go ahead and kick another city in here and make hmm. sure I get the 350. I might not make it. We'll see about that. I did actually let one of my musket men finish in my capital. That might have been a mistake. We'll see about that. Yeah, I finished a workboat. And I'm happy because the workboats are mm -hmm. pretty good, but yeah. And I need two more. I'm gonna wait. Well, Sol is focused on the world's fair. I can see that with my spy. Yeah, do I have the vision too? Yeah, I do. Oh, well, of course, I have a spy there too. I'm making 35 hammers a turn from Sol. 
But I mean, even if we don't get the social policy for free, it's not the end of the world. I already have secularism. I'm guessing you have secularism too. Yep. Uh, and we don't have our ideologies yet. Shoshone is actually attacking Attila's court directly. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish him all the best. Oh yeah, because they do have a border. I hope he succeeds. <laughs> That would be amazing. All right, what are we looking at now? 49%. I'm at 203. Okay, so I'll have no problem getting the silver. I'm at 142. Yeah, I think I'll only get bronze at this rate. I might get silver, but it will be close, very, very close. All of my cities are set towards fair now. So this is as much production as I can possibly get. And my capital is already set to full production. Yep. It is. Yeah. I'm getting 47 hammers in my capital right now, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't that's focus actually, it. That's actually more than Korea is getting in Seoul. 38 production. 71%, I'm at 307. I could actually dial back here. I should dial back. So I don't overspend Let's change because I'm okay so sorry what am I short yeah, yeah I short don't think 43. I'll get silver so the I don't think I'll get silver but I'll get bronze there'll be a few extra hammers but that's okay you can go back to working on your armor. Yeah, I'm just switching my cities back to regular production because there's no way I'm going to get silver at current rate. And I'm actually at minus one happiness. Oh yeah, that's because some of my trade routes expired. That would explain it. I do hope the AI will be more active in the next game, because this was supposed to work. Yeah, well, I mean, they're still declaring war and doing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just not with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this will probably be harder than it is right now if AI actually initiated diplomacy, because they usually try to be annoying, at least some of them. Mm -hmm. So we got industrialization. And coal is not present in my territory. Oh, no. I, oh, no, that's Wellington. I do have coal in range. I just have to buy two tiles to actually get it. Yeah, Mund coal is just out of range of Shanghai. Mm. If I can become friends with Wellington, that's one possibility. But they don't have a quest that's useful. Connect I guess I'll do it. Well, at least one well I got it. seven coal. Oh, you have a seven core slot. Well, that's yep. pretty good. I but guess you I had send to me buy three. two tiles to get it. So I that can... was a little bit expensive, but I have... I have it. I can give you money. Hmm? I yeah, yeah. once I money. improve it, I can send you three or four coal. But that will take quite a few turns because I have to chop the forest first. Mm -hmm. And then I actually have to build a mine. So that might take a while. But hey, at least I have it. Yeah, at least so one of us has it. Have it. It sucks having none. With the two of us, it was very unlikely that we would get none. But it was pretty close. The fact that you had to like buy some tiles is almost out of reach. Korea could have very easily beaten you to that spot. You could yeah, have settled that was to very the south. Mm. And then we would have been in rough shape. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I pretty much bought it instantly. I didn't want Korea to steal it. Is the project not done yet? Uh, no, not, not yet. Oh, yeah. oh, it's at 100%. Mm, it should be done on the next turn. Yeah, and... Oh, I did actually get 359 hammers. Okay, so I did get silver. <laughs> I got a little bit lucky with that. I was actually switching my capital 
to regular production already, but I think I got the extra production towards the World's Fair before I could click it away. That might have been lucky. So now we need to prepare the actual attack. The research agreement will trigger in 10 turns. I still need some more units. Yeah, I do as well. But I'm working on it. I have lots of money though. I got two musket men, one cannon, and one crossbowman. Not super impressive. But I have very good production in Marrakesh. There's the world's fair. Mm -hmm. Got the social policy. It's a shame we don't have our ideologies yet because mm -hmm. we could pick tenets for the free policy. Yeah. But I think I'll just grab sovereignty. That's usually worth quite a bit of gold. Yeah, and I mean, scientific revolution, I'm not sure how helpful it's going to be. And uh, free thought is really good. But mm -hmm. the money... Oh, I got to sneeze. Wait. Apparently I'm allergic to recording videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 82. Ah, that gives me 10 gold per turn. That's not a very good allergy to have on YouTube. <laughs> no! It's, it's not helpful to the career. Um, so that was a workboat that can go that can go here, and then we'll need one more workboat. Eleven turns for coal. So eleven in eleven turns, I can send you some coal. Okay. Hey, I got a golden age. Nice. Yeah, I got one too. That's the bronze reward plus five hundred points uh, towards oh, gold. Oh, that's right. So, right. I think I'm going to start military production in one more city. I'm not convinced my capital can build enough units fast enough. Yeah, I've got three turns until I'm done armory in Shanghai, and then it's just going to do that as well. I mean, mm. I could have maybe gone for just barracks-type units there. Because building those XP units, or XP buildings, means delaying, like, potentially yeah, that's two true. units. And it's a mm. big trade-off all the time. You have to build a lot of stuff to make it worthwhile. Yeah, I sometimes build melee units without armories, but I hate building range units without armories, because that effectively delays logistics and plus one range upgrades, which are really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. Which is why I always try to have armory, at least, for ranged units. And I mean, with Chukonos, that's even more important for you, because you can get plus one range pretty early. Yeah, the problem is a lot of the Chukonos were built a little bit earlier, mm. I th yeah. think. I have one that's got double accuracy. But that's it. I wish there was a button to like not toggle off the next turn button, no matter what. Yeah, I it's on. a little bit annoying. <laughs> I'm looking at soldiers on demographics, and Sweden has the biggest army now, which is kind of interesting. I think Pocatello hurt Attila a bit. Yeah, well, I can see. I don't know if mm. you've got vision at Attila's court. Just a little bit. Okay, I can see the wound, the rifleman around there, but yeah, that's about it. And everything pillaged? Yeah. They took some damage. Uh, Anta Nana Rivo has taken some mm -hmm. damage there as well, so I, I doubt anything will fall, but they are really expending a lot of resources there. And Sweden isn't really doing anything in this game. I'm not sure if they are attacking anything actively. They were at war, but I've not seen them take any cities. Korea only has three cities, no, four cities. Hmm. How many cities does Attila have? Five cities, which includes Constantinople and a city state. You know, you could liberate that city state. You've got two city states. Right next to you. Yeah, he's got Kaisel and he's got Anton and mm -hmm. Arivo. I could liberate yeah. them both. And that's probably what I'll do. I'm not sure. Kaisel's pretty big, but... No, I expect I'll probably liberate them both. I don't remember what city-state type it was. Yeah, no, me either. But it's useful having city-state allies. And I imagine you don't have that much happiness to sustain extra cities. No, I'm currently at plus nine, which isn't bad. Okay, so we got metallurgy. 
Yeah, I'm at four. I should actually look into building whatever it was called. Circus Maximus. I got my pagoda again. That's what's really making a big difference too, being able to get all these pagodas. Oh yeah, I've not spent my fape in a while. I can get another pagoda on the next turn. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. <laughs> I, didn't realize I probably you wouldn't have noticed too. otherwise. So this one's getting accuracy, so let's put barrage on this one. Boom, boom. Um, oh yeah, I want one more cannon at least. So 11 turns for spy and 7 turns for research agreement. Hmm. We might even get dynamite from that research agreement. I think we will. Because that will be quite a lot of science. If we get extra science after getting dynamite, what do we want to start researching? Uh, I thought I had something I mean, queued. Um, well, this is assuming we get rifling, steam power, flight, right? Yeah, I mean, if we don't get... Uh, again, our spies will steal something in 10 turns, our research agreement will go off in 6. So what I mean is that if both our research agreements give us so much science that we'll have excess science over dynamite, what do we want to start researching? Oh, because obviously we're not going to want to sink it into something we're intending to steal. Yeah, because if we want to steal rifling, it doesn't make a lot of sense to get some science in rifling and then steal it and effectively waste that. We could get started on electricity. Yeah, I think that would make more so sense I'll than rushing to combustion. Up. In fact, we should research electricity in general because that reveals aluminium on the map, which is usually extra production True. if you have it close to your cities. That's actually one of the reasons why I try to reveal these industrial era resources, because that often gives you a lot more production for some of your cities. Mm -hmm. Which is very nice. Um, do I want another cannon here? No, what I would really like is... Let's get one. I should maybe build one Lancer. Or something like that. Something that's got bonus movement. Mm -hmm. Also, Railroad. We'll have to research that at some point. I mean, we will have dynamite, so it makes no sense ignoring railroad and 25% production boss. Mm -hmm. Finish the university here. Right, barracks are done. Armory. Wellington wants a road. Ugh, it's gonna be a long, long way to build a road. I don't know, Wellington. You might be out of luck. I... Yeah, that might not be worth it, actually. It's funny seeing the notification that I've completed the accolade. Yeah, and you know the part that sucks about trying to build a road to a city-state like that? The city-state units can just block your worker forever. Uh, all the time, yeah. Yeah. Which is probably I, I, what's going to happen in that little choke mm, point. I had one game where city-state oh. units were just trolling me for like 50 turns. I didn't realize that uh, Wellington didn't actually have that coal. I thought it was in their borders. Hold on. Wow. Mm -hmm. Buy that, oh yeah, our luxury way. deal just ended, by I just, the way. I just recreated. There's a proposal waiting for Oh me. yeah, I see it. Okay, I'm going to be able to hook up my own coal. Wow, I mm -hmm. missed that. Oh, where's the coal? Oh, I see it, right. Yeah, I because I, mm -hmm. I was just looking at building the road. I'm like, wait, that's mm -hmm. where Wellington's yeah. border is? Oh, all right then. Okay, so we both have coal. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have more than we need. Yeah, another seven stack. Factories everywhere. Yeah. I'll probably prioritize factory and list in my capital. That's not always for production. That's not only for production, but also for the engineer points. Mm -hmm. Because I do have 177 great engineer points in my capital accumulated. So with the factory specialist slots, I could probably get a great engineer somewhere around modern era. And there are quite a few useful wonders in modern era. All right, Pagoda. And I feel at that point, you usually have your sort of tech, spy, whatever engine mm -hmm. going. So there's a yeah. good chance you can rush a uh, tech and get a wonder ahead of the AI. Yeah, exactly. Oh, can I get ivory from here? No. All right, I have a lot of money. Not sure what I want to do with it. 
It'd be very convenient if Manila had the uh, the extra gold mm. quest, but it doesn't. I'm saving up my gold for upgrades, basically, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't remember the exact cost. Well, I have way more than I need for that, but mm, I actually, yeah. actually I, I don't know. A good portion of it will go to the upgrades, especially if we upgrade the musketmen to riflemen. Uh, Sweden adopted autocracy. Mm. All right, that's fine. We can still get the double tenets from. Uh, Although, wasn't Sweden in the lead for tourism? No, no, that was the Huns. Never mind. Yeah, that's Tilla Tilla. I never built any guilds. Apparently, I'm so, ahead on faith. Yeah. <laughs> I have zero tourism right now. We should be careful with ideology pressure, probably. It modern might be era. problematic at some point. Sweden is in the modern era. Mm hmm. So, is Sweden the tech leader now? Yes, they are. Okay, interesting. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, it's quite the switch, actually. That The war must be taking its toll on the Huns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. That's definitely the case. And Korea isn't focusing on science as much as I thought they will. At least they are working some of their scanty specialist slots now. How much science are they getting in their capital? 91 science in their capital. Yeah, my capital has more science than theirs. And I don't even have a public school, because we don't have the tech for it yet. Okay, the uh, the Huns are popular with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did not realize it was quite that extreme. We have no culture. The Huns will probably go for autocracy, so if we go for order, we will get quite a lot of pressure. Yeah. On the other hand, it might still be worth doing, because the level 1 tenet, happiness or monuments, will make up for it, at least partially. I think. Well, some. Yeah, I don't know what the actual numbers are. Mm. I don't know how it's calculated. But at like three levels of difference, which is what pot yeah. there is, that it's really overwhelming. Mm. Like when it's just well, exotic, you can you can soak that. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe Attila will pick his ideology before we pick ours. We will decide once um, we have to pick. Shoshone went order. Yep. I don't think they have a lot of tourism now. Well, they have a good bit. Well, and that's it. Let's check. If they have any influence against us, then that's actually going to help if we want to go order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will. Uh, they probably do. Shoshone. They are familiar with both of us. So that's the level so two. That that's not help. bad. Yep. I think it's still worth going for order. I mean, especially if we get some early adopter tenants. I'm still not 100% sure how that's going to work. It's probably going to be just one of us getting them, but we'll see. I'm sure that is. Mm. Alright, so we've got those. Probably the... Oh yeah, I want maybe one... One Lancer, I think. So, a few more turns for the research agreements. The timer isn't actually 100% accurate. It triggers at like minus one turn. But we will almost definitely get dynamite. I actually only built one cannon. You have more cannons than me right now. <laughs> yeah. I have the trio. They're ready to be upgraded. And yeah, I can upgrade the Chokunus to Gatling guns, but I don't know. I like the range. Yeah, it might be worth getting more experience on them first. Yeah. Eventually, you will be forced to upgrade them because they can't really fight against things like Great War Infantry. Huns went autocracy as well. All right. Mm, yeah, I expected that. But I think it's still worth going for order. Hmm. Oh, he went down to 26. Was he getting tourism reward or what? Who, Attila? No, that's International Games, not World's Fair. How did he have 50 to tourism, or am I going crazy? Didn't he have 50-something tourism just a moment ago? I thought you said something about that. I didn't personally check myself or mm, see myself. And now he has 26. That's weird. I know, but he is uh, Attila's court is surrounded mm. by Shoshone Comanche riders. Yeah, maybe that has something to do with it, but it's strange. 
It's like history is dropped by 50% in yeah, the past three Yeah, I don't know what would do that. It's weird. So we have hey, that's good theory. for us. We can start building our public schools. Although, two of my cities are going to keep putting out military units. Uh, Korea went order. Okay. So yeah, unless oh. we go freedom, there's not going to be any free tenants at this point. <laughs> Yeah, it would probably wouldn't make much sense going freedom I now think with that would all be that. Awful. Yeah. Yeah, with all that pressure. And freedom is usually pretty bad for happiness too. But if we wanted to shoot ourselves in the foot, that would be a good choice. I guess we have no ability to elect either one of us as mm. the host. That's too bad. Unfortunately. I'll just vote for Sweden because that will be all a right. slight diplomatic boss with them. Yeah, good point. So you're doing that, which is good. Um, just get some more farms up. More food. Oh, you know what I should do? Is Vilnius over here. Who he actually has porcelain. I should bribe you. I think that's going to be a good idea. I should still have enough money for a lot of upgrades. Let me mm -hmm. porcelain, which will complete a quest with someone else. How much gold do you actually have? I have 2,400. Not bad. Oh, yeah, I can see that. At 94 gold per 10? Yeah. Not bad. I'm at 53. So I Then again, I neglected my economy a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to bribe Vilnius over here. Mm -hmm. Porcelain will be good. Actually, I can use the spices as well. All right, let's do it. Boom. Where are they? I don't think I can see that city state actually. Oh, they're they're southeast of you actually. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. I was looking around you. <laughs> they're not they're not tactically relevant. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's only because of all the uh, the luxury resources and stuff putting me up to plus 17 happiness right now. What missions do you have with Vilnius? Um, where are they in the list? I don't know. I have remember. gold, natural wonder, great admiral. Oh yeah. Do we um, have the same missions with them? No, I have gold, silver, and oh, okay. support the war effort. Mm. I thought for a moment that we might have the same missions because you had the gold one and I have the gold one too. Mm -hmm. But that would make no sense. There's a research argument. There we go, friends of Wellington. And okay, we need eight more turns for dynamite. My spy will steal something in four turns. Right, I was thinking about using my great Santis, but that wouldn't unlock any new options with our spies. So okay. I won't. Yeah, because we would need steam power for Railroad, so... I'll just save that Santis for now. But I can get 2,000 science with him, if I want to. That's not very impressive, because that's just half of dynamite. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't uh, doesn't combo with the spy, because one's mine is in... Oh, it's in six turns. It's quite a bit slower than I thought. Oh, okay. Mine's in four. Okay, all right, okay. I thought your, your spy had already completed. Never mind. No, 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 that was just a research agreement. My military is looking better. I will have four cannons in a few turns. Four artillery is probably enough to take Dago. It's not even that big. Only 47 combat strength and 9 pop. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kaiser's yeah. 71. Yeah, this city will be pretty easy to take. It's mostly Seoul and Jonju that are pretty big. I could go straight for Constantinople as well, which is not what I was thinking in my head. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's so very exposed. It's a good city. It's very exposed. It's a capital as well, so if we're going with the domination victory, yeah, we'll want it at some point. Mm -hmm. Although I'll have to hold it. But I've got the happiness for it right now. Plus it's going to open up a few other like, um, resources, so that's okay. Where are all the wonders in this game? Let me check that real quick. 
Oh, okay, Yatela has quite a few. Sweden has a lot of wonders. And Pocatello has a lot of wonders. Oh, okay, so the wonders are all over the place. Hmm. Let's go and take a look over here. See what we can see. Are they still at war with everyone? Sweden, Shoshone, Byzantium, Inca. No, they pieced out of one of them. Uh... Oh, no, no, that's everyone, yeah. Good. My golden age ended, unfortunately. Yeah, mine too. We went into it at the same time because of the... Uh, mm. Yeah. The World's Fair. Um, but I got my coal. Yeah, mine's being dug up right now. And my military is looking much better now. I'm probably going to start moving mine. Mine's been in a pretty defensive formation. Although, anywhere I'd want to move it, it's probably going to trigger the whole, Hey, uh, you're awfully close. Are you declaring war? And another reason to have armories before you get ranged units. With armory, you can actually get volley on artillery units, cannons and such. Which is extra damage against cities and fortified units. That's pretty much the reason why I never get like trebuchets or cannons without artillery. Because then they won't have volley upgrade. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think I... Okay, yeah, but you can't save your promotions. Okay. I was going to say, oh, I should have saved my promotions so I could do something like that. But you can't by default. Mm -hmm. Which still kind of annoys me a little bit. Because I like to react to situations. And then, depending on, you know, what I need at that time, take the right promotion. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Public school, go, go. Oh yeah, I should build mine. <laughs> I quite often buy public school or research lab, but I don't really have enough money. Technically I do, but I need it for upgrades. Yeah, you know. That's unfortunate. <laughs> And once this war breaks out, I'm going to lose at least one trade route. Possibly more if they come after me with the sea stuff, so. I probably have enough to take Daigo now, once we get the technologies. That's three musketmen and almost four cannons. That's probably enough. Yeah, I have three muskets. I'll have four cannons, the three chokanus as well. Chukone was... I don't know. Oh, okay. Korea has artillery now. I can see some next to their capital. But that was to be expected, I suppose. How many techs behind are we? Let's see. I can't imagine we're far behind anymore. Okay, they have six technologies that we didn't discover. Okay. But that should change once our spies steal something. There are so many basic buildings that I still don't have because of how, how fast technologies are going. Mm -hmm. I don't even have ironworks yet, which I usually do at this stage of the game. Yeah, I guess I'm going to move... Do I have defensive structures in the capital? Okay, yes, good. So I'm going to move the bulk of my forces over towards Constantinople, and that'll be my primary target. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't even bother with city walls. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, normally, I don't. A lot of times, I don't. But in this mm. game, it's like, no, I, I think I may want it if they attacked early. I may have oh, gotten yeah, overkill yeah. on defenses, but... Yeah. I say that because I didn't get attacked. If it if I had been attacked and I didn't have them, then I'd be cursing yeah, myself. If I played you, I would definitely get city walls in most vulnerable cities. Mm -hmm. So Nanjing and Beijing. Yep. Especially Nanjing, because it can get flanked from Constantinople and from the south. So if Attila was to attack you, he could attack you from two different directions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I didn't uh, colonize it right away, why I went for Brussels first. Because mm -hmm. A, there was a lot of resources there, and B, it's not as exposed. It wouldn't uh, contribute any border pressure. Alright, I can steal... Oh, I can actually steal electricity. Which might make sense. I could get us to modern era in two turns. If I steal electricity and then complete my Oxford. 
I only need two more turns on Oxford. Right, right. So we might actually want to do that instead of stealing rifling. Or, well, you can still get rifling with your spy. That's true. But and, I think and I, I'll steal electricity. Yeah, because I think we'll want rifling for this. Like, it would be very nice to upgrade the muskets to yeah. rifles. Which reminds me. All right, so sure I'm going to steal right. electricity then. And finish my Oxford. There we go. Do we have aluminum? I have eight just outside of my border. Oh, yeah, good question. Okay, I do have eight near Casablanca. That's nice. I have... Wow, Casablanca is a really good city now. See, this is what I meant about mm -hmm. industrial era resources. Casablanca has much better production now thanks to the coal mine and it, aluminum mine. It's a production powerhouse. Now, I have aluminum on a desert tile, and it's only a three stack. It's not fantastic. Oh, Wellington has great war infantry, which tells you something about the pace of everyone else. Yeah. Actually, also, unless my timer is a bit off, we should probably end this part now. Oh, yeah, I suspect you're right. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. See you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.